Hi everyone, I'm Rabab Zehra from TechX Media. We are at Computex 2025 and I have with me right now the big man, Mr. Vic Malyala, President and Managing Director at Supermicro Europe, Middle East and Africa region. So let's welcome Mr. Vic Malyala on TechX Media. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Uh, so uh, we are at Computex 2025 and Supermicro has been exhibiting uh, at the event for quite a long time. Tell us what is different this year. AI first. Yeah. I think that's one thing that uh, resonating, you know, pretty much in every booth in every area. Um, historically, it has been uh, a mix of like everything. I mean, it still continues to be, but I think the industry is transforming and so is the profile of customers and the applications and solutions that is being displayed. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see uh, things that actually can take advantage of AI, uh, whether it's a training or inferencing and what people are trying to do with it. Um, on a, That's an enterprise space. but. Uh, you know, we are not in the consumer space as much, but you know, we have seen a lot of things about the gaming and workstations and other things coming around uh, mm -hmm. that in improving the user experience overall. Um, overall, when I take a look at uh, the Computex this time, I see a lot more people, at least, uh, you know, in, in, in this building. And, uh, and I see many people actually having uh, meaningful conversations. Mm -hmm. It's not just like they are watching uh, what's going on. But I think they wanted to kind of understand uh, what exactly being uh, showcased and uh, it, it almost feels like they don't want to miss out. And uh, it's quite exciting that you know, we see that interest in people. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the whole idea is to be able to enable customers with the greatest technology and be able to understand what they're trying to do and how we are able to fit in. Uh, that's the greatest thing that you know, one can have. And Computex actually is providing us that platform. What is the competitive advantage you have over other global players? One of the key differentiators for Supermicro is time to market. And while time to market sounds like an easy thing, the way how we get there is even more important. One of the ways that we do that is uh, be able to design, develop, uh, manufacture, integrate, uh, test, support, everything under one roof. It's totally vertically integrated approach. Uh, we call it a building block approach. Mm -hmm. What that building block does is, as technology transitions are happening in a much quicker manner, it gives us the ability to develop platforms and solutions fully vetted and bring it to the customers before anyone else. The second aspect of it, I think, is uh, the focus on energy efficiency. Why is it important? Is because um, many, many data centers and customers are limited by the amount of power that they have at their disposal. And in order to optimize uh, the overall uh, deployment scale uh, within a given power profile, mm -hmm. uh, people need to uh, adopt something that is efficient. Yeah. But this is not something that we started today. It's been there for, I mean, I've been in the company for 16 years. And for the last 16 years, at least I heard about how do we make systems more efficient. It's just that the scale of deployments is getting so much bigger. It, it's very obvious if you don't adopt green technology, you'll be falling behind. So technology, develop and deploy first yeah. and uh, make it very efficient, mm -hmm. customized and application optimized. I think these are the different uh, elements of the equation that we can tweak uh, to get the best solutions for our customers. So that's a differentiator. So AI is the biggest reality of current times now. How Micro has been deeply involved in uh, integrating AI into its product portfolio? What real-world impact is it making now? You know, it's a very complex question, but I try to answer um, in, in, in one of the ways, right? Um, I see that in order for any of our human uh, experience to get better, the, somebody has to develop these models. So mm -hmm. everyone and everywhere we are talking about the large language models. Uh, today, the large models are like 1.7 trillion parameters. And the way it's going, it could be five or 10 trillion parameters like you know, within the next year. Mm -hmm. It requires humongous amount of compute infrastructure to develop these models. And a uh, handful of companies are doing that. Number one, how do we make that very efficient? So things can be done uh, with minimal environmental impact. If you take a look at one of the parameters that we look at is called the PUE or the efficiency of power power usage efficiency, right? One of the ways to improve it is by taking as much heat out using liquid because liquid is a lot more uh, efficient when it's moving the heat versus air. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, Supermicro is one of the pioneers in deploying very large scale um, compute infrastructure using liquid cooling. Mm -hmm. uh, that actually makes the PUE of the data center go from like 1.6, 1.8 to like 1.1, 1.2. In fact, we just announced something called uh, Supermicro DLC2 mm -hmm. uh, just a couple of days ago. The idea of it is to be able to remove up to 98% mm -hmm. and in some cases maybe even higher um, heat away from the system using liquid, which basically means that the data centers can run a lot more efficient. Yeah. That does by reducing the power, power, power footprint uh, and, uh, you know, help with uh, sustainability. That is uh, one aspect of it. And um, I look at the inferencing as the next big thing because training all these models is great, but how we actually use them to improve the user experience. Mm -hmm. This is where a lot more uh, effort is happening. And we have, um, without exaggerating, at least 20, 25 different solutions that take advantage of accelerators coming from either NVIDIA, Intel, or AMD, and others mm -hmm. uh, in different form factors, either a PCIe form factor, or the OAM form factor, or the SXM form factor, uh, and uh, in a 1U, or a 2U, or a 3U, or 4U, yeah. different form factors, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what it does is, uh, when somebody is trying to deploy it at, at a data center level or at the edge, we have the right solution that is sized right for what customer is trying to do. Mm -hmm. Again, it goes back to the green theme end to end. We want to bring the right size solution so that we can run it optimal. Second thing is we want to be able to enable different in inference applications. Depending on the size of it, we can uh, enable that. So I know it sounds kind of geeky, but ultimately if you take a look at it, whether it's training or inferencing, whether it's happening at the data center core or at the edge, we want to be able to enable customers the best experience in a most efficient way. That's what we are seeing it as. Great. So you mentioned a couple of times about sustainability and a green computing concept is there in Supermicro. We are in Taiwan, an eco-friendly company. So how important is sustainability in Supermicro's overall strategy? It's one of the core, core, core uh, values um, and uh, important factors for Supermicro, especially given uh, the impact. I'll give you an example. If you take a look at uh, the worldwide data center power consumption, depending on who you talk to and whatnot, it's two to three percent. And the way the data centers are getting built out, uh, you know, you are talking about gigawatts of data centers nowadays. Not no longer like 100 megawatts, 20, 30 megawatts. You're talking about gigawatts. Mm -hmm. And as these data center sizes are growing exponentially, the amount of power that's consumed is also going up. Yeah. We are doing everything that we can uh, through so-called data center building block solutions from Supermicro. We call it DCBBS. This actually helps in running the whole data center and looking at a data center from a, you know, let's say a different angle and making sure that every bit of it is optimized. That way, the sustainability portion is, uh, you know, very well managed. Uh, so it's not just a buzzword for us. This is something that uh, we've been working on for the longest time. And given the scale of deployments and uh, adoption that's happening right now, uh, it is a lot more uh, visible. That's all it is. But uh, yeah, sustainability is going to be the key. Thank you so much, Mr. Vitmangalia, for sharing these great insights with us. It was a pleasure talk. Pleasure is all mine. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at Computex 2025.